Benjamin Sesco. The main course, which is Benjamin Sesco. As you guys know, everyone is speaking about it. So I'm going to now put a poll question out there before we go any further. Do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're enjoying the show, we got over 300 people watching right now. Please do hit the like button. Let me know what you guys think about the show. And the question is, Benjamin Sesco to Arsenal, deal or no deal for you? Forget about the price. Just would you take the player at Arsenal knowing that you're not going to be able to get any of the other strikers that you that you potentially like at Arsenal? So that would mean no Isaac, no Ozzyman, no Ivan Tony, none of those guys, right? Yes. Now, before I give you guys my opinion on the deal, let me explain to you guys what the deal and everything is being spoken about about the deal right now. So here we go. Let me let me just pull it up. So Arsenal I Sesco deal. Uh, as of course, right? So Arsenal are actively pursuing a deal to sign Benjamin Sesco for 45 million, but there's also rumors that he has a release clause of 55 million. Sesco has expressed his interest and preference to move to Arsenal uh, over uh over other clubs, including Manchester United and Chelsea, as those other clubs. Uh, this potential signing is part of Arsenal strengthening their squad in the club and having eight players in the top 10 estimated values in the world. As Benjamin Sesco, his value could increase to that level. Now, what, why is Lukaku in this post? So the Slovenian striker Benjamin Sesco has given the green light to the move to move to Arsenal Football Club as the Gunners are lining up a potential 45 million pound deal for IB Leipzig's uh, striker. Now, 45 million pounds would be 21 million more in profit than what they originally paid for him last season, as RB Leipzig paid 24 million for him last season. So, if we get, if they get 45 million pounds, they would be making 21 million pure profit off the player. And the player has said yes. He's basically agreed personal terms to join Arsenal. And at this moment in time, the question is, would you guys favor a move for, for Benjamin Sesco to Arsenal? Personally, for me, before I go to Souls, uh, I, I really don't want to play that. Yeah, personally, for me, before I go to Souls, Gunnar Souls, I was one of those people who said, I don't want a striker who is a project. But then I looked around and I said to myself, who's available? You got Victor Ozyman. It's going to cost you a ridiculous amount of money. Ivan Tony, the club don't want him due to his attitude issues. Alexander Izak is not for sale because Newcastle don't want to sell him. And then you, then the next bracket we're looking at is the Victor Jokerezes. And I'm like, I'm not really convinced by Victor Jokerez, right? I'm just not convinced by him. And, uh, and then now I'm seeing Benjamin Sesco. Personally, it seemed originally as like, if it was 80, 60 to 100 million for this player, I would have said this is ridiculous. But the fact that he potentially could be 45 million, 20-year-old striker who in the Bundesliga last season, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, was one of was was one of uh, scored 14 goals in uh, sorry, scored 14 goals in 31 games, but only started like 16 of them. So in 16 starts, he had like 11 goals at the end of the season also. Ridiculous run. His market value price is around 50 million euros. He has, yeah. Luckily, he has a release clause, which makes it cheaper. He's 20 years old. He's six foot four, uh, sorry, six foot five, taller than Erling Haaland, pacey forward that can score goals from all over the pitch. When I say all over the pitch, guys, I literally mean all over the pitch. If I show you guys his, his his shot charts, you'll be impressed. These are where he scored his goals from in the Bundesliga. As you can see, he's scoring goals from how many yards out? How many yards out is that? About like, 35 yards. Ridiculous. You got you got him scoring screamers. As you can see here, it shows you which foot he's scoring with. Right foot, left foot. You got headers. He's scoring all sorts of goals, volleys from outside the box, ridiculous ability. This guy 
is very, very young and raw still. He might be a project in the sense that in the sense that we are not going to have a finished article. But even if you compare him to some of the finished articles, even if you compare him to some of the finished articles, call me whatever you want. But when I'm but when I'm bringing you guys some evidence to the table, you cannot you can't you can't fault it. We know how good Alexander Izak is, right? But some of the other players that we might be interested in, like the like the Victor Ozimans and the Ivan Tonys, just forget about games played. Go per ninety. His goal scored the highest, or even non penalty goals, the highest amongst all four of them. Goals inside the box, even with, with Isaac. Goals outside the box, even with Isaac. Right foot, Isaac is a little bit better. Left foot, he's the best out of all of them, showing how versatile he is. This is a right footed striker and has such a great left foot. His conversion rate is the highest of all three of them, showing you how clinical he is. Compared to the rest of them. And it's not even close when it comes to the likes of Victor Ozyman and Ivan Tony. He's literally three times the, the finisher that Ivan Tony is. And he's and he's and he's and he's and he's what one one third, literally more, the finish rate right there. 30 33% to 22. Let me give you Victor Ozyman's um Syria title winning season. Let me see if I can find that. Where can I find that? I don't know how to do this. How do you do this? No, I do. I'm not used to it. Yeah, no, I can't even figure it out. But yeah, this is this is basically just this past season, as you can see right there. Just goes to show you why another reason why we might be looking to sign this kid. I personally think for 45 million pounds, it, or even 55 million pounds, it's it's a bargain. You're not going to find a striker that's that young, that good for that price. And if Arsenal can bring him in, I'm all for it. I don't think we're going to go and drop that kind of money on Isaac and even Newcastle don't even want to sell. So that's clearly off the table. And from what he's shown in just such a short time period, let me show you this season alone, this season alone, he uh, what he did at the back end of the season when he finally started getting game time. Because this is his first season at Leipzig, as you can see. Look at that. Game after 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 game, just scoring goals. Wonderful job. Absolutely wonderful. This is what you want to see from your strikers. But yeah. So for me, because of his age, because he is somebody somebody who is relatively affordable compared to other strikers, which means we can now drop 100 million pounds on a midfield. Because I do think Arsenal will still drop 100, 100 million pounds on a player this window or close to in that midfield. Yeah, I mean, look, I've done a bit of digging around and research myself as well because I'm not, I've not been able to watch the Bundesliga intensely this season. But um, when you look at kind of what I've seen from him, I don't know what people are complaining about his first touch because actually, in reality, I think his first touch is fine. He's got a good pace. He seems to be strong on the ball. And for me... Like some of his finishing is exactly what we're missing. Those one-on-one -on -one chances, someone that can be a target man, someone who can be in the box and be a presence because we don't really have a plan B. We don't really have someone who can, you know, change up the game or the style that we play. And he comes in and he can do that. Exactly what we need in terms of the pacing behind, someone who can come in and transition. But even if you look at it, when we look at someone who um, we're also linked to or someone that Arteta Demise and Marcus Rashford, He's got a similar profile to Marcus Rashford in the sense of he's pacey, good finisher. He's got a really, really good shot on him, like a really powerful, clean um, technique. Now, whether he can score those 20 to 30 goals, I don't think that's what the club are looking for. I think the club needs someone who can come in and change the game. And that's what Benjamin Sesko does. When we're looking at the kinds of players that we're looking to bring in, the target men type, you know, the Haaland-esques. I'm not saying he's as good as them, but they're the kind of profiles that we're really looking to do. And when you look at some of the other articles as well, Arteta's, well, not even Arteta, but Arsenal have said as well that they would want him to be not just a backup to Havertz, but also someone who can play on the left when needed, and he can do both. Yeah. The thing is, people are looking at Isaac. This guy is a younger, taller, Slovenian version that is not as good as a dribbler. He's six foot four 
and his pace is ridiculous. His ability to strike the ball with both feet, I can't emphasize enough how important that is. And you know when we talk about uh, we need game changers, I don't know if he's that guy right now. But what I do know is he has that ability to change a game with his ability to strike the ball from distance, from close, his heading ability. And if only he was more physical because he – I was not saying here. About no, no, he is physical. Let's... Not physical enough, in my opinion. Like, I'm talking about young Zlatan was crazy physical. You could already see no, but, he they're, like... but they're like certain freaks, though, isn't it? Like, you, you don't find them often. I'm just watching some of his goals right now. I wish I could show you guys the highlights. Right foot finishes in the box. When he catches the ball in the box, is basically a goal. Maybe people are going to say Bundesliga attacks. But when you have players taking a touch... Uh, drifting pie people the types of goals he's scoring guys he's scoring screamers from outside the box he's wrapping around the keeper he's he's drifting into the box finding tap-ins he's also getting movement from movement from uh one twos with his teammates and another key thing is he's not only going to be able to link up with the likes of Bakao Saka Martinelli and everybody else but he's also going to be able to interchange at times, because his pace is so good, he could you could see him drifting in the wings at times. Now, I don't know how reliable this report is, but I seen a report, and this report kind of got. Thank you for watching that short clip, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Of course, if you want to engage with the conversation, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the discussion that we just had, whatever it was, and also, I just need to say this: thank you for watching up to this level, at uh, this point of the video. If you haven't already left a like on the video, please do. If you watched up until this point, surely you like my content. So you'll you'll definitely hit the subscribe button. And for the foreseeable future, I do live streams. I do a lot of discussions around Arsenal. This is your home for Arsenal Trends for News and, of course, other things. So please do subscribe and keep, keep a lookout by hitting that notification bell. I'm out, people. Have yourselves a wonderful day.